this is Melanie with the Greensboro Public Library. With the days getting shorter and the nights getting longer, you may enjoy discovering the night sky. This video shares some of the benefits of using binoculars for beginning astronomy. There are several advantages of using binoculars for beginning astronomy. Binoculars can be more portable if you want to keep them handy in your car for camping and travel. Depending on the type of binoculars that you use, you might be able to use the binoculars for multiple purposes, such as astronomy, bird watching, or sport watching. Binoculars help make faint objects that you normally can't see with an unaided eye brighter so that you can see them. Also, if you are new to astronomy, binoculars are a tool for you to get a wide view of the sky and to start to see patterns in the sky. Check out this book, Seeing Stars, A Complete Guide to the 88 Constellations, to help you recognize patterns. Binoculars are basically two lens telescopes mounted side by side, which produces an inverted and left-right reversed image. The binoculars have a series of prisms that turn the image right side up and left right corrected for you to view. When you choose binoculars, notice how they are labeled for magnification and the diameter of the aperture or the objective. For example, a 7x35 binoculars provides 7 times the magnification and a 35mm objective lens. For families with young children, binoculars may be too heavy to hold, so make sure that you choose binoculars that can be placed on a tripod or a mount. Some binoculars also include image stabilization, ISB, which will help compensate if your hands move. If you are wanting to observe the night sky beyond 15 times magnification, image stabilization is highly recommended or at least consider using a tripod. You can even make your own stabilization unit. One object to view through the binoculars is the moon. Look for details on the moon, including lava plains and craters, such as Tycho, which looks like white rays that come out from the crater. To get the best view of the moon, try viewing it when the moon is in twilight so that you can see more details. You may be able to see planets such as Saturn and Jupiter. Watching the moons shift around Jupiter through several viewing nights would be a fun activity. You might be able to view Venus and Mercury at twilight through binoculars. If you have a dark night and can avoid light pollution, you can see details of the Milky Way galaxy, hundreds of thousands of stars. Some other potential sightings include Ursa Minor, the North American Nebula, and the open star cluster Messier 38. In the fall and winter, your binoculars might help you spot Andromeda the Princess. Comets and asteroids can be viewed through binoculars. You can also see the Orion Nebula, a cluster of new stars. Binoculars also can provide passing sightings of commercial telecommunications satellites and the International Space Station. To find sighting opportunities for the International Space Station, go to the NASA website spotthestation.nasa.gov. Also view the website earthsky.org to hear daily updates about the cosmos and find great stargazing locations. For more guides to astronomy, check out these books from the Greensboro Public Library. We hope you enjoyed the video and take advantage of some community astronomy resources, such as the Klein Observatory and the Greensboro Astronomy Club.